Good morning and welcome to our seed of encouragement. I got a word and that was say Lenten. We know we're in the season of Lent and Lent is 40 days from the when, Ash Wednesday to Christ Easter. Lenten is, the, is an, a process, not an event. Because you know in Lent, we all say in Lent, I'm going to drop this thing, this particular part of my life, this thing I do, I'm going to keep it down. Some people say, I'm not going to eat for a certain period. I'm going to observe this Lent. Some say I'm going, I'm not going to be in social media. You know, we make every decision during that time. So we feel we have to do it. So we get close to God or God to know God. So I want to say that Lent is not a process. Lent is a process, not an event. No, Lent is not the thing you do during that, that 40 days. And that is it. After the 40 days, you are back to your normal. No, that is not Lent. But why? Let's get, let's uh, make this affirmation and we'll continue. Say with me, <clears throat> I lovely release any anger or resentment that I have carried in my mind and in my heart. I fully release all people, places, and emotion that impaired my spiritual growth. I long to be close to you, Lord. Help me remember that nothing is more important in my life than you. With you, I have everything. May God bless this affirmation. Okay, let's talk about Lent. Lenten, like I said, is a process. Lenten is not, you just pick up one thing and say, I'm not going to do it. And you think that will draw you closer to God. Okay, if you pick up or you drink and you say you're not going to drink during Lenten, and you find out that you're not drinking, but you still don't have time to be with God, to be closer to God, it's not, it's not working, right? So you, you have to, Know that Lent is a process. Lent is something that wants us to be a lifestyle. If you choose all the bad things that you're doing and you say you don't want to do them during the Lenten period, why not continue after the Lenten time? Because Lenten is a time for purification. Lenten is a time for enlightenment. And purification is not a one-day thing. That's why I say Lent is a process, not an event. Purification is something you keep doing. All your life till you preach your last. Enlightenment, like God said, is something you keep renewing your mind with the word of God and begin to see where you are short. You are coming short to what God has said. This is my precept. This is how I want you to present yourself. This is how I want you to live Christ-like as a Christian. We are all wanting to live like Jesus, right? And then you, you there's so many things that you pick up along your life that are not benefiting, that are not the uh, giving you more time to have time with god and during lent season we cultivate those things i say okay i'm going to keep this thing so i can have time with god and then after lent season we go back to it so i want us to all those things that we have picked up and said oh i'm not going to do this this lenting period why not we continue why don't we make it a lifestyle and said okay i'm going to keep my life like that i'm not going to have so much destruction distraction like you have affirmed that things resentment, anger, bitterness, things that keep you away from the light of God, things that keep you away from the purification and sanctification of God. Because God is satisfying us, is satisfying us every day. God is renewing us every day. But are we making that time with him? Because it's not just, it's not just God said in his word in Matthew 6, he said, if you are going to fast and put on sackcloth and all that, people see you are fasting, then you are fasting for the world. You have to do a thing that is with you, is, is in you, is something that you have in you. Because if you have in you to be kind, if you have in you to have compassion, it's not, you're not only going to do compassion during Lenten time, you're not only going to be kind during Lenten time, you continue to live like that, being compassionate to one another, being kind towards another human being. And that's what I want us to get in Lent. Because Lent, we all have this thing we're going to do. I'm, I'm going to eat much. I'm going to watch what I eat. Uh, you know. And you come out of Lent in season, you are refreshed. You are strengthened. And then we go back to all the garbages that we left before and said, oh, we don't want to drink it less time. Are we, are we living like Christ? Is it measuring up? And if during Lent in time, there's so many things you've seen that have keeping you away from God, you discover from the things you put aside that you will not do during this Lent in time, so you have time to go. Why not keep it that way? 
And why not perfect? Why not change? Because it's a time for change. Do you have discovered this aspect? Take my time from my family. Take my time from, from work. You, you know, things you're supposed to do because you are in, in so engrossed with social media. You don't do. Or you're so engrossed with certain lifestyle. You don't do. You don't have time. You don't make time. You don't have portion time to make it meaningful in your life. And I have discovered during this lengthening time that, yeah, since this, these things are put aside, oh, I've had more energy to do things. I've had my focused mind. My mind is where, where I am. I'm not distracted easily. I'm involved. Why not perfect and go to those that change? Because change is only the thing that is constant, right? And say, oh, this brings so much good to me. I have so much time with God. I, I ate well. My, my, I feel the energy because you detoxify yourself. You, you didn't eat too much food or drink too much. And now you have so much energy. Why not keep it that way? So I came, I came this morning to say, Lenten really is a process. It's a process that we have to in, get into our life to make it a lifestyle. That is not only when you have to put something aside. Those things you put aside that are not germinating any good fruit in you. Leave it. Because the word of God said there's going to be an axe on any tree that's not bringing fruit will be cut down. So anything that God has cut down in your life during this letting side that didn't, wasn't bringing any fruit, fruit to you, why not let it? And pick up the ones that have given you time during this Lent. And even if you have not started this Lenten season to look into your life and say, no, this is a season for me to have time more with God, I want you to start now. It's not late. Start now and get into this, this Lenten season. Get into this space that you, you make more time to, to hear from God, to listen to him, to, to know who you are, to identify who you are. When Jesus went with his disciples and, the, and there, there's a transfiguration, his disciples were shocked. They were bewildered. They didn't know when they saw what happened in the, in the transfiguration. And just said, they should not let anybody know. They begin to see the authenticity of who Jesus is. Now they know that's really is the son of God. That's what Lenten time is supposed to do for you. Lenten time is supposed for you to discover that you are a child of God. It's for you to find out all those resources that God has embedded in you. All those things that God has called you for. Because you spend time, you hear, you listen, you study, and you know you. And you know what you're capable of doing. And you begin to walk towards that time. Because now you know where you are headed. You know the things that have been obstacles that have been heading you back. That you think it was not an external force. It's an internal force from you that have held you back from your promise. That have held you back from your breakthrough. That have held you back from, from your promotion. Then you begin to walk towards it. And begin to live it as a lifestyle. And you see that you can actually live in heaven on earth. You can actually be in the garden of Eden while you're on earth. Because now you're walking according to the precept of God. You make time for God. You make time for the things that are important. And God is surely going to re reward you. Because so many times we, we know that we can't keep a commitment. But you kept this commitment during Lent. And commitment is a virtue. Don't you lose it. You committed to keeping this same thing for 40 days of fast. And now the fast is over. You're like, okay, back to it. No. You were committed. It's commitment is virtue. Continue with that commitment. Committed, commit, continue with that good path that you choose. Be committed to it. That will help you. That will help you break out from that addition. That will help you break out from that lifestyle that's dark. You know, you and I know the lifestyle that nobody knows that you live in, that you decided to keep down during this lengthy season and not impacting it and not do it. Leave it. Continue in that commitment because God is surely going to reward you. Okay, I said again, holiness is not something you attain one day. Holiness is something you keep on doing every day. So you can't just be holy this time of Lent and the next season you're not holy anymore. So we have to continue to keep all this so that at the end of the day, God will say, yes, my faithful servant. 
we're going to press forward. Paul said, the things I don't want to do is the thing I find myself doing. How can you not do them? It's only when you continue, like you have committed yourself this time and say, I'm not going to embark on this since I'm not going to be partake of this. And then you've lived a, a life that was holy. And you keep on on it every day. You grow, you fall, you pick your bed, yourself back up. And you keep on doing. That is what Lenten thing is. Lenten is time for you to, to, to come to God in repentance. Time for you to pray. It's time for you to seek God to teach you. It's a time for you to yield to God. Yield to the Spirit and the calling of God in your life. And it's a time for you to give alms. And if you're going to say, okay, I'm giving alms this Lenten season, are you going to stop giving alms after the Lent is over? That's why I say Lenten is a process. It's not an event that you just do one time and it's done. No. I want us that everything you have you decided over this Lenten season that you're not going to do because you know the Holy Spirit put it in you that this year is not good. This thing I'm doing is not good. Before God, before man, it's not good. And then you drop them, lying, backbiting, stealing, cheating, all those things. You drop them during this Lenten season. Leave it there. Don't, don't drag it back on on you after the Lent. No, don't. That's what Jesus said. You can't fast like the hypocrites. You can't show everybody, okay, now I'm good. Then after Lenten season, you are back. No, we have to continue to live that committed lifestyle that we went back on during this Lenten time. That's what God is telling us. So we have to observe it. And then when you choose all those things, you observe it as growth, like I said. Keep on doing it. That's how you are going one step ahead of being good human being on earth i say ask yourself a question ask yourself this thing that i dropped was it fruitful was it yielding if it was why not i continue so as you are doing your lenting as you're staying back and you're dropping some things and say you don't want to do this i want us to make it a lifestyle i want us to make it a lifestyle I want us to do it a lifestyle, continuously doing it. What, whatever you keep on doing, patient, like I say, you patiently are waiting on God. The Holy Spirit continue to minister to you and continue to help you begin to, very soon you, you won't even find joy in those things anymore. And God will help us.